Hi, this is Lewis. Hello, everyone. This is Aldo. Welcome to the recruitment show. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We've been having some really good feedback. Our, our YouTube channel has been doing really well as well. So thank you, everyone, for all your comments and uh, and positive feedback. It's really cool. Yes, and thank you to uh, all of us who have supported us. iTunes charts. We reached number one on the business section. Yes, we did. That is fantastic. That was very cool. That it's was very so cool. good. Um, no, thanks everyone for that. So for this episode of the podcast, I thought we could talk about uh, company values. Sometimes, or actually, I think often limit diversity in the uh, in the recruitment process yes that's very interesting so I wanted to ask you in regard to this um, do uh, company values limit diversity in the recruitment process do you think yes I feel so the thing with um, company values is a company decides on what their values are and then often they use it for the basis of recruitment which you know taken on its own is is a a very uh, noble thing to do right and every company decides what their values are when Mm. you when you link it and use it to recruit what you find is people look for people like themselves or they're looking for people that fit into this into this mold and of course with diversity you're looking for people with with different backgrounds who are cognitive diversity who are thinking differently so um yeah so i feel it can it can really really have an impact on diversity within these companies so you you um refer to cognitive diversity as uh, just thinking differently is that all about this or there's some other elements that need to be uh, considered so uh, for, for companies um the most most important thing for me is is really having cognitive diversity mm-hmm. so you think about some of the recent corporate failures you know mm-hmm. you have like blockbuster video which when i was young i used to, i either used to go out or i went to blockbuster to get a video hmv you know a lot of really great companies failed and if you think about why they failed i think one of the reasons is you look at their boards and uh, it's filled with the same type of people um, and maybe there were different colors or different genders sexes but often they were thinking the same and, and when you're thinking the same in a, with a group of people you get group think you all come up with very similar ideas you're agreeing with each other mm-hmm. and so if you think of a pie all of your options are a very small kind of segment of that pie but if we're all from different backgrounds and the thing that often governs cognitive diversity is uh, it could be um, age educational background religious upbringing um, these are some of the some of the things that govern your your thought and your views of the world and you know if we're in a group of like say six or ten people in a board running a company and we're all from different parts of the world we have different ideas um we're going to have better decision decision making because we'll have many more options and opinions uh, to choose from and for me that's that's what it's all about and linking it back to, to values i think often companies end up looking for the same type of person uh, which is not a, not a good thing do you think that uh, company values are that important um, um, yeah, I mean, so yes, they are. I mean, a lot of companies, uh, they, uh, you know, they go through a long, well, every company, you go through a big strategy of what your values are, why you're here, what do you believe in, you know, really like the philosophy of the company. And that really guides conduct, relationships with customers, partners, shareholders, and the values are good. They set, um, you know, a vision for the company that people align to, um, and you end up having a common purpose. So really important, I think, though, that when you're recruiting, it's important to think a little a bit broader about how to attract a diverse workforce interesting yeah have you so from your experience Aldo who do you think's got this right to be honest I don't think uh, anyone's got it right but it's all, all work in progress you see um, big corporations such as uh, and uh, such as Apple uh, which has an extremely diverse and innovative workforce and um, you know through different documents that it was revealed that its approach for developing new products involves hiring uh, super creative people with um, maniacal tendencies yeah. uh, a bit of OCD people uh, well they're all sitting around the table and then give them a job to do and let them get on with it so what you mentioned of cognitive diversity seems to be a byproduct of their recruitment strategy it seems to be working well and uh, apparently is that what you need in a, in, a, in in such a corporate env- environment uh, but if you hire the wrong people and expect them to innovate it at the end of the day it wouldn't work absolutely and apple was, i mean with steve jobs there was so creative right Yes, I mean, absolutely. He, I even had a story that he locked them in the room. He used to lock them in the room, and then these like people with uh, all different backgrounds just came up with these crazy ideas, and yeah, and they came up with some amazing things. And you know, then you look into uh, exercises such as um, you know um, team bonding and um, all the type of of things that you could do, like recreational and outside of of um, working hours, is so important because you come up with great ideas, and um, it's so important as well to take that break 
Blake uh, was reading this um, book, it's called uh, Superhuman, and it tells you that it's uh, really, really key to take breaks from work, even with your colleagues and do different activities. You'll get more inspired, you'll come back with better ideas, and, um, and you know, that's definitely an important value for, for companies that need to consider. Absolutely. I mean, look, so, so, I mean, company values are important because, you know, ultimately people are attracted to organizations that are passionate about what they do mm-hmm. and are doing well. And so, you know, it's really important to get behind. But I think there needs to be um, some kind of thought around using it for recruitment. Um, and I think that's the point. And so, you know, what you find is when the when we're recruiting for clients, so many, so often people say, you know, I just, I really want someone that fits or what's the right fit or you get feedback and it's like, oh, they weren't quite the right fit. And then when you ask them a little bit more about that, you know, what do you mean by that? Then they, again, they just say, well, you know, it just it doesn't feel like they'll fit. And so this goes really plays into this kind of unconscious or conscious bias with, uh, you know, people tending to hire people and like people like themselves from similar backgrounds, from a similar school, you know, similar countries. And so you see that in, in all sectors, you know, often in financial services, let's say, you look at the boards and, and senior leadership in these companies and they're all from similar backgrounds background similar educational backgrounds and uh, and so for me it's all trying to just get away from that and having um, leadership teams with a mix of background. and what do you think is the thin line between group thing and uh, cognitive diversity yeah so it's so a group think is when you have a group of people that all have a similar worldview and they all have similar opinions and they agree with each other the date the problem with that is you end up getting a very limited um, number of options when you're mm-hmm. trying to make a decision mm-hmm. um, if we have let's imagine you have like a a table of 10 people mm-hmm. and we're all from different parts of the world different religions different ages different genders we're going to have so many different opinions on things and yet it might cause uh, more arguments longer meeting maybe but the wonderful thing is mm-hmm. we're going to end up having so many different options that we'll be able to make a better decision yeah absolutely and uh, one of the key questions when um, going through an interview process is about if you um, get along well with your team is uh, you know uh, getting along well with your colleagues so um, there's a thin line perhaps of you know giving your own opinion not just going against the flow when you're in a group um, with colleagues but um, you know adding that value because of your own personal experiences and professional yeah, definitely. So I think I think with with employers, and if we're giving some advice to you know how to do this, um, I think they have to think about whether diversity is just another uh, company value to tick a box, or if they really want a diverse workforce. And you know, a diverse workforce that's hard to manage. You know, they're enlo- enlightened, cognitively diverse staff. They'll probably be more independent, moral, less obedient, but they'll bring new ideas, innovation. You know, and with the pace of change and the world, the way the world's going now. I think companies they just need to be innovating. But are we talking about tech, tech companies, or you know, are we talking about consulting companies? Are we talking about uh, law firms? Uh, which industry does this apply to? Everything. Every oh, industry. industry. Every industry. Yeah, yeah. I think you know, if you think about whichever company you're you're in and you're leading. Um, you have to think about yeah, where your place is in the world. I mean, you know, you mentioned to me the other day that there's um, a really interesting uh, startup that are starting to do a lot of legal services. Oh, yes. You, you can know? swipe right to sue you for can, uh, small claims. Yeah. So every industry is being disrupted right now mm-hmm. by technology, by AI, by whatever whatever it might be. And so, you know, if you think your, your industry is not going to be affected, I mean, you, you won't be around soon. So whatever industry you're in, you need to hire the best people, the best ideas. You need to be thinking, you know, what the next bounce of the ball is going to be. And you need to be innovative. And for that, you need to have a really cool group of people um, that, you know, aren't just doing it the way they did it 20 years ago. Absolutely, I I agree. It's a, it's a actually really important thing to consider for employers to have as a key element of their vision uh, when it comes to identifying the right the right team. Definitely. So look, I think I think ultimately to sum up, uh, this needs to be ingrained in companies' cultures, and they need to really have a good, well thought out recruitment strategy to to attract and retain a diverse workforce. Fantastic. Great. Very interesting topic. Uh, really interesting. And until next time. See you.